Kwame Kilpatrick sits in an Oklahoma prison. Lawyers all the way back here in Detroit are still fighting over his case. And tonight, his legal team is fighting to keep him from having to pay back any money to the city. Rod Maloney live with more on uh, how much or how likely it would be that he wouldn't pay any restitution. Rod? Well, Devin, it's possible that he won't have to pay any, believe it or not, but it's still a very long, complicated case. And it comes from this filing that Kwame's appeals attorney put into the courthouse, uh, but it's in direct opposition to what the government is looking for. Back in 2013, when Kwame Kilpatrick stood before Judge Nancy Edmonds for sentencing, one of the many components of his 28 years in prison was to pay just over $4.5 million in restitution to the city of Detroit. The judge arrived at that number using an array of differing formulas applied to evidence of the construction contracts Kilpatrick pushed to his friend Bobby Ferguson as part of the racketeering scheme. Fast forward two years and an appeals court ruled that restitution calculation process improper and told Judge Edmonds to start over. So in the interim, while Kwame tried to get the Supreme Court to hear his case, which it didn't, work began on the new restitution number, and it's much smaller like $3 million less, and they're asking now for $1.6 million. But Kilpatrick's attorney, Harold Gurowitz, is saying that the number should be zero. He claims the court rules requiring using a loss to calculate restitution, yet the government and the judge used gain on a construction contract instead, which he believes is not legal. He wrote in his filing, quote, this case now becomes an instance in which the process by which to attempt to determine restitution is too complicated and time consuming to pursue the specter of restitution as part of Mr. Kilpatrick's 28 year custodial sentence, end quote. So you're saying, okay, he doesn't have to pay back anything? Well, that's not entirely correct because he did have to forfeit four and a half million dollars uh, as part of his sentencing. And also he had to pay the IRS a couple of million dollars. So as it stands right now, it's just this, this one small corner of it, but it's still millions of dollars that the city may or may not get. Back to you. So then Rod, when might this issue then end up back in court? Very good question, Devin. There's no date set yet, and they've been doing this corner of this for the past year and a half. So who knows? Maybe next year. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see. All right, Rob. We'll keep following it, obviously.